Sources have revealed that Warner Brothers may well be done with that certain Aquaman starlet after everything that has happened recently. Oh, they are ready to wash their hands and walk away. See, from what I'm understanding, Warner warned that certain Aquaman starlet that what she was doing with JD better not interfere with their multi-billion dollar franchise. Well, guess what? The media, they can't stop talking about Warner, Aquaman 2, JD, and that's certain Aquaman starlet, and this right here, oh, it is bad for that person right now. Now, there is 100% undeniable courtroom proof of this stuff, too. Proof that Warner, they wanted to wish away, and it didn't work. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And from what I'm hearing right now, Warner Brothers, oh, they are in a bad mood behind the scenes. You have people panicking. You have people trying to figure out how to damage control. And all of that stuff, it is aimed at a certain Aquaman starlet. See, things like this, they keep coming up in the media. I've seen a dozen articles reflecting this right here. J.D., he can't mention Aquaman 2 at the trial, or he might face more issues that certain Aquaman starlet tries to prevent more damage. Now, we'll look at that article in just a moment, and oh, it is beautiful. I mean, seeing that certain Aquaman starlet and Warner served up, oh man, you can ask for anything more. But what they're referencing is this stipulation. Now, the stipulation, it works as proof of what's going on behind the scenes, too. Why? Because this says that Warner didn't want anyone talking about Aquaman, too, and they tried to shut down both parties through that certain Aquaman starlet. Starlet. Listen to this. Defendant and counterclaim plaintiff that certain Aquaman Starlet. That proves, by the way, that they're the ones that brought it in. That's why they're mentioned first. And plaintiff and counterclaim defendant, J.D., hereby stipulate and agree to the following as it relates to discovery and trial in this matter. So, discovery, they didn't want questions asked. In the trial itself, they didn't want this stuff brought up. Continuing. Number one, and this is talking about in the courtroom or in trial, by the way, not during discovery, the parties agree that neither that certain Aquaman starlet nor JD will include at trial any references to Aquaman 2 for any reason, including but not limited to any evidence or references supporting or disputing that certain Aquaman starlet's damages as it relates to her counterclaims. Now, when you look at that, by the way, who does that sound like it benefits? I mean, of course, it benefits the long-term goals of that certain Aquaman starlet, but in the short term, when it relates, who would want this put in? Would that person want it, or would Warner Brothers? Hmm. Number two, and this is probably the second most important important number two in the trial, the first being, of course, what was left between the sheets. This is about discovery and not the trial, by the way. So the parties agree that neither that certain Aquaman starlet nor JD will seek any additional discovery regarding Aquaman 2 for any reason, including but not limited to agreeing not to depose non-party Warner Brothers Entertainment, Inc., or seek any information related to Aquaman 2 from Warner Brothers Entertainment or any of that certain Aquaman's current or former agents or publicists. So, you can't ask any questions, you can't depose anyone whatsoever, and don't talk to my agent or publicist because they might actually tell you the truth. Now, along with that, there was a redacted portion as well. This redacted portion, I believe, was an admit-all, reflecting what is essentially a case-ender for that certain Aquaman starlet. Why? Well, from what I'm understanding, Warner Brothers, they were made a lot of promises by that certain Aquaman starlet, the main one being that they would never have their movie, their 
billion dollar franchise that she's connected to brought up in litigation. Well, you know what? Not only was that not true, but now the media is bringing this up too, and they're bringing up in dozens and dozens of articles, and when they bring it up, well, this connection, it's not something Warner Brothers can control anymore. That whole, that is making Warner Brothers nervous and mad. Now, granted, the media, they are still trying to do damage control for Warner. They do this by questioning the authenticity of the articles, questioning the legality of them, too. I mean, listen to this right here. Over the last couple of days, bits and pieces of supposedly leaked court documents have surfaced on Twitter. Supposedly leaked court documents. All of this stuff, by the way, it's all 100% public. Nothing leaked about it. If these documents are genuine, by the way, if, yes, they are 100% genuine, then it seems like that certain Aquaman starlet may have tried to stop any mention of Aquaman 2 from taking place in the ongoing legal proceedings. Read on. Here's the thing, though. Aside from a few mainstream outlets, you don't have much damage control at all. Why? Because this is a salacious story. It's one where you have a huge company and Warner plotting with a certain Aquaman starlet to try not to have their movie mentioned in a courtroom, so they do short intros and, well, they let the evidence speak for itself. Listen to this here. As per MovieWeb, a new document shared on Twitter, it seems like that certain Aquaman starlet is trying her best to prevent her upcoming DC movie Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom from being mentioned at all in the court when she and JD meet during their forthcoming trial. From there, they let the evidence do the talking. And what's beautiful about this is you see the hashtag and how it's mentioned here. Yeah, this has caused it to trend every freaking day on Twitter. Look, that certain Aquaman starlet doesn't want anyone to mention Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom during the trial. So behave. Never tag the movie when you talk about this case, okay? Don't you mix the movie with the trial. <laughs> oh man, every single day it trends. The real Laura B. is also front and center in these articles. Check out her Twitter, by the way. It is glorious for this case. Also, check out their podcast, Myth and Monsters. Oh, it is so good. But you can see, she is covering this. No holds barred. And the amazing thing here is that these places, they're showcasing it. And they're showcasing it without interruption. Now, what's interesting is that the media keeps pointing out just how bad this is for Warner. And you know what, Warner? They are keenly aware. Like I said, there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. There is a lot of anger from what I'm hearing from sources. And let's just say, if there was an Aquaman 3 right now, yeah, I wouldn't be expecting a certain Aquaman starlet to be revising Mira anytime soon. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. If you want to help the channel out, well, there are links in the description. Check those out. We could always use your help. Sub the channel, though. You know all of that drill. And thank you. You being here, that matters. Appreciate you ending here. See you soon.